Yo, 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 what it do, my people? It's your favorite white boy, Mike Easy, back with the real. You already know the deal, gang. And for this video right here, we're going to be speaking about this Texas native man. They call Unk, the crazy fool, Charleston White, man. We're going to be speaking about him in this video. So, you know, if you brought with Charleston or whatever, you like hearing talk about him and this and that, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe button. We're going to get into it for a minute, you know what I mean? I'm going to talk about a few different things, get my perspective on old Charleston White. Um, crazy old fool, man. Crazy, 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 man. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel and uh share the video. It helps the channel grow. You know, we're trying to do a lot more things and uh things of that nature, man. So make sure y'all lock in with your boy. And uh let's go ahead and get this party started now. If you don't know Charleston White, I know everybody don't know him, man. I met a few people that, you know, I've told them about him and stuff, and they really didn't know. But Charleston White is from Fort Worth, Texas. He was a community activist who went viral on Facebook. Um, so he went viral on Facebook, you know, back when he had the dreads. He used to say a bunch of crazy stuff, you know, try to help out the kids. And, you know, he talks about how he tried to change laws and all this stuff right here. But what he was doing then really wasn't working for him so he went to youtube he went to youtube made him a youtube channel he said all he ever wanted to do was have a monetized youtube channel basically like a lot of like a lot of us you know uh be able to talk your stuff and get paid for it well it went viral and he's been going viral for saying a whole bunch of crazy different type stuff <laughs> you know what i mean <clears throat> Really ain't going to get into all the crazy stuff he's been saying, but you can go look at the old videos or whatnot, because I ain't trying to have my account flagged neither for what the stuff he be talking about, you know. But, um, so, he been, he been going around, you know, he, he's he got these comedy shows that he been doing. Um, he went from YouTube to the stage. Uh, he did work with the likes of, like, T.K. Kirkland. Uh, sent him a, a few videos with uh, Rollo. And, you know, so he says he don't want to be a rapper and he don't like the rapper lifestyle. But if you can see his glow up from, I say, what, two years ago till now, <laughs> you would think he would want to live the rapper lifestyle just by the way, you know, he dressing, he acting, he talking and all this and that. But, uh, you know, shout out to Unk, man. You know, I rock with Unk a long way. I was probably one of the first first people really to, you know, speak about Unk in a, in a positive way. You know, he's made a lot of enemies since he's been doing, you know, all these YouTube channels and stuff like this, all these videos, you know, going against the gang members, um, going against these people, that people. He's been going viral for a lot of the wrong stuff, but it catches people's attention. It keeps people talking about him, and evidently it keeps money in his pocket. So I can see why, you know, he, uh, he wouldn't stop doing it, man, but... Over the last, over the last couple months, I started, because I rocked with Charleston the long way. I mean, you know, I, I watched every one of his videos, no matter if he was on Vlad TV, uh, Say Cheese, or any of the Danza Project, or any of these other platforms that he was going on, or his own YouTube channel. You know, he goes live a lot. And uh, he'll get on there for a couple hours, man, and just be talking a whole bunch of bull crap. You know, and I was one of the people that I always, oh, what's Charles supposed to next? What's Charles supposed to now? Let me go check it out, you know? Because I rock with Charles in a long way, you know? I liked a lot of the messages he be saying. He be, he said some crazy messages and some, you know, some not profound way that a lot of people want to hear him. But the message that he's getting across is real relatable, you know what I mean? And uh, so that's one reason why I rock with him. But, um, so I had a, I had a YouTube channel, right? And this right here is a new video that I just watched. We ain't gonna watch it. But, um, he was just on Wicked Films where he got on there and, uh. At Hardy's, we're putting our hearts into Mother's Day. He got on there, he got on the Wicked Films, and the guy started to interview him, and the guy asked him, uh, I guess they out of Memphis or whatever, so um, the guy, you know, was starting to ask him a few questions, you know, just like a basic interview, 
The guy was asking him a few questions. Then the guy asked him, he said, uh, what would you do if I slapped you right now? Charleston said, you would die. And from that point on, it, the, the, you know, the video, the podcast didn't last five more minutes. It just went up from there. Charleston got mad and basically, you know, stormed off set. Um, it ends with them t outside, outside of the venue. Uh, Charleston and the guys talking. And, um. Uh, Basically, Charleston walks away. Guy's trying to apologize to him, say, I was just playing. I'm a funny guy. I really didn't mean that. Blah, blah, blah. But, so, I was doing, I was doing some uh, reaction videos to Charleston White, you know, at one time. And, you know, this ain't my, this ain't my first uh, YouTube channel. You know, I have, I actually have another YouTube channel that I do other videos on. But I had a basically like a a street news YouTube channel that I would do different things on. I would do reactions. I would do, you know, just different things on. About like I do now. But it was more of a, like a news standpoint. And uh, well, I would do reactions. And I was doing some reactions on Charleston White. Like, you know, he would be on a, he'd be on just say Say Cheese, for instance. He'd be on Say Cheese. Uh media youtube channel doing an interview and um uh, i would make a reaction video to it well after making so many reaction videos charleston white had a youtube channel and they basically deleted his youtube channel let me start by saying this he's done had a lot of youtube channels and he's done had a lot of instagram accounts he gets on there and he says these crazy things and after a while i guess people are reporting him or whatnot they'll delete his youtube channel they'll delete his instagram well after they deleted his youtube channel for a couple times you know he he talks about uh the first time he ever he ever received a youtube check and he talks about how he was getting twenty thousand dollars a month off of youtube and a lot of his older videos he talks about it a lot and you can tell when they deleted his youtube channel it really hurt him because that's how he was basically basing his lifestyle off of the YouTube checks. Well, after they uh, after they deleted his YouTube channel, he he kind of like blacklisted YouTube. You know, he talked a lot of junk about him, blah blah blah, and, and then he was like, "Well, I had to find new avenues to make money because I couldn't depend on YouTube no more." So I started doing stand up. I started uh, making people pay for interviews and uh, this type of things. Well, I was doing reaction videos on them, you know, around that time, a little bit after that time. And I woke up one day and I had some of my uh some of my videos they uh he had struck them. And I seen Charleston, he got on there, he said, Oh yeah, all y'all YouTube channels is getting on there and making videos of me. I'ma go through and copyright strike y'all's channels. And I'm like, what? And so it was a video I was watching of Charleston White, you know, going through and uh, just scrolling on YouTube, you know, typing in his name and seeing videos that other YouTube channels have put up about him. And there was, you know, many he was going through and he was, you know, copyrighting, copyright, copyright, copyright. I mean, YouTube channel at the YouTube channel at the YouTube channel, different ones he was going through and copywriting them. He was like, y'all ain't using my videos. Y'all ain't getting paid off of me. And uh, he did that to two of my uh, videos. Me as well. Um, and they didn't have many views. But the reason why I'm making this video is because I seen the other day there was a guy, another YouTuber, he was doing reaction videos. And the same thing happened to him. Let me see if I can find a guy. Let me see if I can find a guy that was doing it. See, there's a lot of people that he never messed with, you know? There's a lot of people he didn't mess with. 
But it's like certain people he did mess with, and he would copyright them, get their accounts flagged, get their accounts for strikes on them, and, and, and things like that. I can find this guy. Yeah, it's Let's see if I can do this. That's the video I just watched. The Wicked Films. I can go check that out. If you haven't already, it was kind of crazy. Oh, Hassan Campbell. So, Charleston White and Hassan Campbell, they've been going back and forth. See, Hassan Campbell, he is a guy that he was from, like, the Bronx, New York. Yeah, I guess he was, like, sexually molested by... Uh, What's his name? Africa Bambata is like a music guru in the hip hop culture, you know. Um, and Charleston White is making fun of him, and he's saying all these different crazy things about Son Campbell getting thighed. Uh, this all kind of he actually went on the Danza Project just here recently, and you know, and they spoke on the whole situation. So we're probably gonna get into that. We're probably gonna watch that that uh Hassan Campbell video, but I wanted to. I wanted to see if I could find it where the guy gets on there and, he, and he's speaking about getting I don't think I'm gonna be able to find it But my whole thing is this, all right? But it was a young black guy. He hails, I think, out of, like, Dallas, Texas, not far from where Charleston White lives and stuff like that. And he made a good point. And it was actually, it was actually something that I was thinking on, you know, back then. But I just didn't ever make a video on it because I said, you know, what's the, um, what's the point of me making a video on this? But then when I seen this guy make a video on it, let me see if I can do this. What was the name of that video? What was the name of that video that I'm thinking about? It was, uh... Was I'm being targeted? I ain't ready to find it. But anyway, so the moral of the story is the guy, he, he was basically like, you know, I was uploading Charleston White reaction videos, this or that, and he struck my YouTube channel twice, gave him two strikes. He was like, one more strike and I'm doing because YouTube, they give you three strikes in a so many day period. Strikes usually disappear after like 90 days if you don't get in any more trouble upload any more content don't get any more strikes like you're not supposed to so i was looking for a charleston white video just to watch it and i noticed that guy and he made a good point he was like you know i'm a young black guy from like a couple hours away from where charleston white lives and uh why is charleston um 
getting my channel striped when there's a lot of other people out here doing these reaction videos, things of that nature. It's like, I'm not even a big YouTube channel. I think the man had, he had like 10.1 thousand subscribers. So, you know, he was a growing channel. But uh, he said, he said a real thing. He said, Charleston don't want to see the young folks grow and grind. Charleston speaks like he does. Charleston speaks like he's for the youth and he wants to see the youth thrive the right way. He don't want to see them being out there selling drugs or uh, doing these bad things. He wants to see them get in the media, go to school, do the right way of living, raise a family, all this and that. But he's like, yeah, he says all that, but then he will strike my channel for just making a reaction video off of his videos. He was like, I'm not trying to take any of his clout. I'm not doing any of that. I'm just reacting to a video that he's already put out there. You know, and I got to thinking. That made me think back, made me double back to the times I was putting up reaction videos of Charleston White. And I'm like, you know what? That's true, man. That's true. And when I think about it, them old videos of Charleston White just scrolling through the YouTube, typing in his name, seeing the different platforms that uploaded his content. It was all of the subscribers that was trying to grow their account. It was not one to one YouTube channel with hundreds of thousands or millions of views that he was striking. It was all the less established channels. And I thought back on it. I was like, you know what? He's right, man. Charleston don't want to see the other people grow on YouTube because he can't grow on YouTube. He's mad. And this is what I came about it. I said, he's mad. They deleted his YouTube channel and he can't make no money off of himself on YouTube. So these other platforms is trying to build up their platform and make a little bit of money off of reacting to his videos that he goes on these different platforms and do is trying to build their name up, trying to make them a little bit of money. He's hating on them. That's all it is. He's jealous. And he says, if I can't have it, you can't have it either. You know, when you was growing up and you had that, that boy at school that, uh, he was jealous of you, or just say you had somebody in life that, that was jealous of you, and uh, say you had a new electric bike, and he still had the old pedal bike. Uh, let me ride your bike one time, man. You really didn't want him to let you, uh, you really didn't want to let him ride your bike because you, you kind of figured, man, he might get on my bike and, and sabotage it, do some crazy junk and break it or something. But then you're like, man, maybe not. Maybe he just wants to ride it. So he gets on your bike. You finally let him ride on it. He gets on your bike, and then he runs straight into the biggest hole, the biggest hill, jumps up with your bike, breaks the handlebars off of it, and uh, then just leaves it there and hops back on his bike. And he's like, man, I'm up my bad, man. It then just like rides off into the sunset, and you just sitting there with a broken bike. That's the feeling I get from Charleston White. He's looking at everybody else that's trying to grow up. And he's like, man, if I can't grow and I can't make no money, y'all can't either. Y'all about to suffer just like me because of the things that you've done. When in reality, if he wouldn't have said all this crazy stuff, he would have still had his main YouTube channel booming. Now, don't get me wrong. He's got little side quest YouTube channels that he's... He's got rolling that I've seen, and I don't know if they're going to delete him or whatnot. I'm not snitching on him, YouTube, but uh, he's got a lot of game-related podcasts. He's got the Rat Williams YouTube channel. That's just two of them that I can think of off the top of my head that I'll be seeing him upload to and whatnot. You know what I mean? But uh, it really got me thinking, man. He really don't want to see the youth staying out of trouble and uh, trying to make a name for themselves and trying to get their bread up the right way. He, he wants them to, to find another avenue to get money. He, he he talks like he does. He talks like he, you know, he supports the youth and supports doing um media and content creation and all this and that. But in actuality, if he can't get nothing out of the situation, 
he didn't want you to have nothing out of the situation, man. And it kind of made me look at Charleston White a different way. But like I said, I was one of Charleston's biggest supporters, man. There was one time you couldn't tell me nothing wrong about Charleston White. I would say, man, you just hating. No, nah, man, no, 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 man. You see, you just hating. You're not getting the message that it, that's the type of person I was, you know. Um, because like I said, even still to this day, I still rock with a lot of the stuff he says. But now that I'm watching him more and I've seen that video and I'm going back to what happened to me and what happened to the countless other people that I've seen him flag, it was all lower class channels that was just trying to make a come up, just trying to get some views, just trying to establish the channel. And he's trying to bring them all the way back down. He's trying to take their little, uh, their little motivation, their little, oh man, you know, I'm getting some views now. You know, I can... Oh, no, you ain't about to get him off me, homeboy. Click. And I find that's messed up, man, because if they ain't hurting you, first of all, you putting this content out there. You going to these other channels, you putting this content out there, you shouldn't be able to dictate the content that uh, you're flagging. Now, if you put something up on Instagram or something like that, and you feel like um, they're taking your videos off of something and uploading them without your permission, that's something else. But for people just reacting to the videos that you've already put up on YouTube, that you went to these different platforms, got on there, they interviewed you with a camera, they uploaded them to theirs, and they're just reacting to it. I mean, that's bull crap right there, man. And you hating on the people trying to grow their platform, you should be encouraging them, man. You should say, go ahead and get it, young buck. Go ahead and get it, homie. Yeah, get your stuff right, man. Make you that paper, man. You shouldn't be a hater. See, I'm getting that hater mentality off of Charleston White. Uh, back in the early Facebook days, that's what he gave off that aura. After I went back and started watching him and see how he would spaz out, how he was mad. And I've heard him talk about it on these videos like, man, I was angry, man. I was angry because I was broke. That's why I would lash out. That's why I was always saying this and that on Facebook. And that's that same hater type vibe that I'm getting from uh, a lot of these recent videos. And now he's acting like he's he's bigger than Earth. He's acting like he's bigger than bigger than all this. Oh man, you know I'm gonna touch just millions of dollars, man. Look at my rings. Look at my watch. I just went and did this. I don't. Man, I know many people like Carson White, the big boasters, the braggers. The ones that, oh, I'm better than you because I got this. Not knowing, man, that God can take it all away. Just like that, on the blink of an eye. He gave it to you. He can just as easy take it back from you. Now, I'm not saying I want that to happen or anything. But I'm just like, man, you got to be careful. You got to pay your dues, man. You got to respect people. And you just got to be, the energy you put out is the energy you're going to get back. You know what I'm saying? Like he said, he don't believe in karma. Well, I believe in karma uh, because I believe in the power of the universe, man. And I know for a fact that I've did some things in my life that, you know, I, I wasn't the proudest of, man. You know, I shouldn't have done them. But I've done some things in my life that, say, I went and just say I went and stole some milk. Maybe it wasn't that next day or it wasn't two weeks later or a year later. Might have been a year and a half later. I stole that milk. And then somebody came and stole milk from me the same way I stole the milk. And I'm I'm just like, they were still mad. And then I then it would reconcile with me. Damn, you know what? That was the same shit I did. So man, you know, now nah, I didn't do that shit and nothing like that, but I'm just saying I've done things that on down the line the same exact thing happened to me the same exact way. So I so I'm a, I'm a, I'm living proof of what you put out is what you get back. So him with that hater type shit, man, and you know flagging people's channels just for a little simple reaction videos and shit like that is whack to me. And um, I lost a lot of respect for Carlton White when I seen no boy's video and um things of that nature, man. Cause Carlton, man, if he was doing so good and doing that, you wouldn't have time to be worrying about who's uploading, making reaction videos of you. Somebody, at least, if somebody ain't out there talking junk, downing you, and even then, man, YouTube's a free for all. This is, YouTube is a content creator's platform. They're on. That's why, 
they have their own name they pick their own youtube name they pick what kind of content they're putting up and that's theirs so you shouldn't be fucking with it you know that's just my perspective of the whole situation because i think that's a hater ass move and uh just because you can do it don't mean you should do it and that's something i was taught you know at a very young age just because you can do it don't mean you should just because you can oh i'm in this video i don't want them to, to put this video out there i can go flag it go get them to take it down and just sit back and be like uh-huh nanny nanny boo boo i got your shit took down don't write no shit about me no more boy that's the type of shit he do man and i think that's just some hater type moves i think that's some lame ass shit and i think uh you know you just you just need to watch out what you do man but um anyways i just wanted to say that that was the main thing for this video but we about to get into this hassan campbell video that i just seen because i didn't know he had he had uploaded anything and i'm kind of curious to see what he um what he's saying about that charleston white shit because i did see charleston white uh talk some crazy shit about him on that that um uh, that dancer project shit and just not on dancer project i seen he make multiple videos you know talking about hassan campbell and what happened to him and everything and whack 100 i seen whack 100 on the no jumper podcast just the other day talking about hassan campbell and what happened to him and all this and that you know so uh look right there there it is there it is right there that's what i watched not hassan campbell's video but I watched Wet 100 on No Jumper speak about that. Speak about getting Hassan's uh, monetization took away. And he spoke about uh, what Africa Bambada done to Hassan Gamble and made it into like a joke. You know, so let's check out this video right here, man, and see what her comp is. Who's the kid within his own family? It sounds fucked up, but nigga, that's me. I hated how my mama just took off. I guess she was mad the way she got shook off from dad. Damn. Grandma did the best she could. Yes, man, but I still did it hand to hand. I still sold packs and grams. And I still live off the land. Try to stack some grams. And I still try to be something that I'm not. The other dude right there, bitch. You know the next man. Why not the best man? Let me know. It's like a test, man. I'm just asking before I die. Can somebody tell me who I am? God damn. Is my pops Paul or Sam, or that cat that be picking up cans, or that dude that you used to fight? I seen the metal hop, that nigga with Clinton. Am I from Harlem or Brooklyn? I don't know. Street down to Charleston. A few cats have to where I've been, so I know y'all understand where I'm at with it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna make a whole separate video to this. Like and subscribe, man. Let's